So now in this video, we have a uh, kind of slowly pulsating LED right there, but I think it's still a, a cool looking effect. This is an old uh, diagram. I think I might have used 47K uh, there instead of 100K if I uh, redid this. Uh, but in case, this is what we have. So we have uh, basically an A-stable op amp here. So last video, we used an A-stable 555 timer, uh, basically doing the same thing. Uh, the uh, the output which we're not using here either uh, keeps alternating be, uh, between high and low forever and that's due to a capacitor that is charging up to a certain voltage and then down to a certain voltage over and over uh, basically in response to uh, the output as well as uh, over here we have the op amp uh, non-inverting input that has uh, to begin with a couple of 10k resistors right there wired as a voltage divider which by themselves wants to set the non-inverting input uh, voltage there to half of the supply voltage but we have the output here so when the output's high that raises that voltage and then when the output is low that lowers that voltage and what uh, keeps changing the output high and low so if it is high let's just start with then this is higher than half of the supply voltage that also charges the capacitor and uh, so that's the inverting input when the capacitor gets above that voltage whatever it is then the output goes low because the output wants to be the opposite of what the inverting is it wants to be more like the non-inverting so the output goes low that sets a lower voltage you know sucks that voltage down that's only a 1k resistor so it sucks it down quite a bit uh, so this capacitor is charged uh, now the output's low so it starts discharging. No current is going to any of those inputs. And wherever lines are connected, um, that's a connection. I use in the system where if they're not connected, there'd be a little jump. If they're connected, they're connected. Other people use a dot if they're connected and no dot if they're not connected. Uh, but that's connected, that's all connected. So in any case, uh, it keeps bouncing back and forth there. As I said before, high output raises this voltage gets the capacitor charging but then the capacitor voltage gets too high sets the output low and uh, this gets extra low right there compared to half of the supply voltage and then the capacitor has to discharge but then it gets too low to uh, maintain that because we got a lower voltage there setting the output high hopefully that makes sense now we are just sending the capacitor voltage to this uh, other op amp so there's two op amps in the integrated circuit right there uh, so this one's just looking at the voltage of the capacitor during this whole process. That's all this one cares about. What's the capacitor voltage doing? Since the output, this is called uh, negative feedback right there, is uh, being fed directly back to the inverting input. Remember, the output wants to be more like the uh, inverting input voltage than the non-inverting input voltage. By itself, it doesn't follow that. But when you have a negative feedback, the only way that the voltage can be more like the uh, non-inverting input than the inverting input is to make them exactly the same hopefully that makes sense and um, so we got the LED now when the LED and sometimes it's if I bump the power supply it uh, messes things up um, sorry about that so we got the fade there um, it keeps turning the power supply off if, if I bump it we could put a capacitor to the rail that would uh, kind of mitigate that um, but in any case when the LED is at its uh, brightest that's actually when the voltage is at its lowest. So I didn't show the supply pins, um, but uh, you can kind of see the orange jumper up there and then the gray jumper there. That's supplying five volts to the integrated circuit. There's two op amps in it though. Um, when the LED is the uh, brightest, that is when the output voltage is the lowest because there you can see it's coming from the positive supply. And uh, so that's when it's the brightest. When it gets up as close to uh, 5 volts, the output, as it can be, that's 5 volts on both sides. There's no uh, voltage difference, practically no voltage difference. And then the LED is at its dimmest. So now we got the lowest voltage, and now we got, you know, the highest voltage right there. Right then, now I'll uh, zoom in on the circuit and leave the uh, fade. As long as I don't bump the power supply, it should uh, keep going good. So yeah, there we got to the negative supply, and that went to the positive supply, our voltage divider. And then we got our positive feedback right there. So that's only a 1K uh, resistor right there. So uh, the output is going to pull it. Um, the output actually only goes up to uh, probably about 4 volts. Um, so it's 
gonna pull it like really close to like four volts. Uh, it does connect to ground really well though when it's low, and uh, so this probably gets really close to a uh, zero volts. Uh, those two points. Now we have uh, the uh, 100k resistor right here. So that's at uh, the output. No, yeah, that's at the output. Um, power supply is at the very top. So third pin up there, the output is going to the inverting input. Now uh, we could, you know, attach the capacitor here, but uh, there's more space over here. It's easier to see. So I just got a jumper going to there, and uh, that is where the uh, 100k resistor there, second row up there, and capacitor connect to the non-inverting input of the other op amp, as I said before. So this is a voltage follower. We're looking at the voltage of this capacitor, basically. That's all this other op amp cares about. And uh, so we got the output there. Negative feedback right there um, going to the inverting input. And then the LED, as I said before, it's at the positive supply there. And uh, so that's long lead, the anode on top, short lead, cathode down there. Order doesn't uh, matter on that. So in any case, uh, that's it. I think this video went on uh, long enough and I think I covered pretty much everything. So we will end it there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.